Hey everyone, Nick here. Now I really enjoyed restoring and rehanging that old Collins axe. So today I'm going to be working on this old Pulaski axe. Now here's the Pulaski axe. Now I don't know much about these. If you guys have any history with them or more information on them, I'd love to hear it. But from the videos I've seen and the things I've read about it, these were used for making controlled fires, or for fighting forest fires because it can be used both as an axe and as a pick. The axe appears to have been well taken care of and in good condition. The handle is still really nice and one of the things I love about this particular handle is you can see from the back here the growth rings are running the right way. Now there is some cracking. The wood is dried out. I'm thinking I might be able to save it we're going to sand it down and then I'm going to apply linseed oil. I might even soak it in linseed oil just to sort of rehydrate the wood. The axe head looks to be in good condition. There's some pitting and some paint, but that'll just add character once we wire brush everything off. So now I'm going to use the wire wheel to clean off all the heavy rust and paint. And we should be left with Nice metal with a little bit of a surface patina. Here's the axe head after the wire wheel. I think it looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to go over with a metal scouring pad just really lightly to blend it out because the patina isn't completely even. There was some paint on here so it's a little splotchy. So now I'm just going to hand sand. I'm going to start at 80 grit and take it up to about 240 grit. I'm not going to remove too much of this, just kind of bring it down close to bare wood and then finish it up. I'm going to leave a lot of the dents and some of the imperfections in here. I think it'll give it character just as long as it's not affecting the wood. By taking it down to bare wood I'll be able to see if there are any deep cracks or anything really concerning. So here it is after sanding to 240 grit. The handle is actually really solid. Aside from the small crack, let's see, right here, which doesn't actually continue all the way down. A lot of what looked like cracks going on in the handle were just surface. So I haven't taken a lot off, but I'm happy with this. So here it is. Now I'm going to apply some boiled linseed oil. So now I'm applying some linseed. So now I'm applying some boiled linseed oil to finish up the handle. Well, look at that. You can still tell that it's old. I didn't take too much off the surface. And it has a nice rich, almost like a honey color. Really like how that's looking. And here's the handle all finished up. I really like the way this turned out. It's got beautiful grain. And it's a really nice handle. I'm not sure if this is how the wood was when it was new or if it's darkened over time, but the color of the handle really works well with the axe head. So now that the handle work is done, I'm going to go ahead and sharpen up the axe. Here's the Pulaski axe all finished up. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm glad I made the decision to leave it a little on the rough side compared to the Collins axe which looks
practically brand new. This one still looks like it's old. It's a lot nicer, it looks better, but you can tell that it's an older tool and it's been through quite a bit. So there it is. Once I start working on clearing my field, I'll be able to post up some videos of me actually using this. But for now, let's go split some firewood. So here it is. I plan on doing more tool restoration videos, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.